Hello everyone, Basic Ollie here. I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to another one of my videos. Now, usually on a Friday, we will do race of the week, but considering I've been doing the Daytona 500 all week, I thought I'd do something a little bit different. So today we are going to talk about something that I get asked about a lot on stream. And that is what overlays I use. Now, if you've been watching this channel for a while, I have been with Race Labs for a long time. Not sponsored or anything like that. I just like the way Race Labs looks. But recently, I've discovered something called I Overlay. Now, it's not sponsored video at all. I just thought I'd make a video on it because so many people come into my stream and chat and ask, what overlay am I now using that I've moved from Race Labs? Well, it's something called iOverlay. Okay, now iOverlay is a completely free piece of software. Now, I don't know if it will stay free forever, but currently at this moment in time, it is free. So I highly recommend you go over to the website. I'll leave a link in the description down below to download it. All right. So what is iOverlay? Well, quite simply, it is an overlay uh, for your stream or for where you're on iRacing. Maybe if you're just by yourself and you want like a track map on your screen or anything like that. Um, just to give you a little bit more information than you currently do in the, uh, well, when you're racing and I racing, you really don't get much information at all. I suppose it is just a sim, you know, and you don't really get much apart from what you can see on your, your steel rule dash IRL. But when it comes to streaming, or if you want a little bit more information, it is always handy to have an overlay installed on your uh, on your system. So what I'm going to do in this video, I'm going to show you the website, I'm going to download it, I'm going to show you all the different things you can do with iOverlay, all the different standing settings, relatives, all that kind of stuff, and uh, I'll show you how I have it set up as well. So let's crack on with the video and let's uh, let's go download iOverlay, uh, shall we? Okay, so first off, what you want to do is just simply Google I overlay. So what I did here is I just put an I overlay uh, in Google, uh, and then it's the first link. So it's I overlay .app. So you click on this here, uh, and then it will take you to the web page. It says I overlay. It's in beta at the moment. Your new bold and fresh I racing companion. It says it's free. So click here to download, and you will download it. And it will just download in the background there. Um, there it is. So once it's done, click on it. You might get this warning here, but it's absolutely fine. Don't worry about it. Click on more info uh, and then click run anyway. There we go. Right. So I've got in brackets two there. Uh, I've got in brackets two there because I already have it installed, but I'm going to install it again anyways because I think it will just install the latest version. So read through all that if you, if you wish. Choose where you'd like it to be installed. I'm just going to leave it in the default position. Um, for now, it will just install and then click on Run I Overlay. Uh, it's as simple as that, and then you get this, uh, you get the settings here. Now, there's a lot you can do here, so I recommend once you download it is to play around with it. But there's some awesome, awesome features of this, and one in particular that I'm going to show you, which you absolutely love, that I don't think any other piece of software's got, but it's an absolute game changer if you do endurance racing and you do spotting for your team. Okay, so what I'd recommend you do now is once you've actually got it installed is to join any sort of practice session. Uh, I have just quickly joined a, a VRS practice session at uh, Okuyama, I think it is this for this week. Yeah, so uh, I've joined for here and you're going to get this menu here. Now, don't worry too much about changing any sort of settings. You can do all of that later, but I just kind of want to go through the basics for now for what you've got on this piece of software. Um, so... You've got your general settings uh, where you can have like the font size, what type of font opacity and stuff like that. Uh, you've got standings, uh, you've got relative, you've got fuel calculator, you've got spotter, pit helper inputs, input graph, traffic indicator, flat map, track map, Twitch chat, all sorts of stuff that you can put on your screen. And quite simply, if you want it on your screen or not, you just have to toggle this on or off. Now, the way I normally have this is that I will just have the standings, the relative, and then the track map, all right? So I've got those on, so those are here. So as you can see right now, I don't, you can't actually see it. There are nothing, there's nothing there, but I do have those on. So all you need to do is press F6 on your keyboard, so press F6, there they are, and you can move them about. So you can put them wherever you like. Now I have mine in the top left-hand corner like this, and all you need to do is then press F6. 
uh, and voila, they are there. So they, they just appear. Uh, and like I said, you could play with many, many different settings. Uh, you can choose, like just for example on the relative, um, you could choose the overlay size, you could choose what is shown at the top, like your positions, um, badge color, car number, relative, eye rating, um, all sorts of things, strength for field, loads and loads of stuff, whether you're at the top or the bottom, there's absolutely loads of stuff, so I would uh, I'd have a real good uh, play around with that, because there's loads of stuff you can do. One awesome feature as well is actually you can choose how many cars appear uh, on the relative, so I've got three in front and three behind, but you can have up to five, six, seven, uh, it's pretty crazy, so uh, you can absolutely have it massive if you want, and you can have loads of people showing, so it's really good. Um, one really good feature about this is that when you've got these overlays on the screen, they you can still click around them. Look, I can still click on my options. It's fine. Uh, I can still click around and do as I please. Uh, one thing I found on Race Labs is that when I, uh, when I opened an overlay, I couldn't get uh, to these corners. Uh, they sat on top of the screen, whereas these are just there. So you can just do as you please uh, with them. So that is uh, that's pretty self-explanatory there. Uh, and that is pretty damn cool um they stay on your screen now if you're someone who wants nothing on your screen and just want um to show on stream uh you can do it here so there's a streaming section here and all you do is do all the settings again but you copy this and then you just add a source in your obs a browser source and copy and paste it and add it in there so all that means is that when you are streaming you don't see the information on your screen but the stream sees it. So you can basically have two separate screens. Uh, one screen that you see and one screen that the uh, the stream sees. Because I know personally, um, there's some information on this screen that you don't really need to see. Uh, but, you know, when you're streaming to other people, it is handy for them to see. So uh, you can uh, do that. Um, so like I said, there's there's so much customization with this. It, it's, it's pretty damn crazy. There's so much you can do. Um, but yeah, I get asked people, people ask me about this so much, uh, so, so much. So yeah, it's a, it's a great piece of kit. Uh, but the best feature for me personally, I've not even, I've not even showed you yet. I've not even showed you. So I want to show you uh, this race control. Now this is, I've not seen anyone else or any piece of software do it. Um, you may have to correct me if I'm wrong on this. Maybe there is, but I haven't seen it personally anyways. So uh, imagine, imagine the scene. Let's just quickly jump on board. Uh, let's jump on board here. You're, you're watching, all right? So you're watching this guy, and then your spot says, "Aha! Uh, something's happened. Quickly, we need to jump and see what's happened." Um, you know, there's been an incident in the in the race, and we need to see maybe the leaders crash or something like that. This piece of software here tracks all the crashes, the off tracks, incidents, whatever. All right, whatever. So let's go say, look, Peter's had a crash. You can click on three, five, or 10 seconds before the incident actually happened. For example, let me click on five seconds now. And it will then show the incident five seconds before. So it's got that down as a crash, but it unfortunately isn't. But you, you get the idea. You get the idea. So it thinks it's a crash. Um, so yeah, it just does that. So we'll give this a try. So I clicked on this one five seconds before. It'll take you five seconds before the incident, and there you go. So you get to watch that. I mean, I know it doesn't seem like much, but honestly, I could tell you, when you're spotting an endurance race, it's it's just so good to have. You can go straight to the car and watch the incident, like just just as it happens. It's just look at that. It's just it's brilliant. It is such a good piece of uh, software. It is absolutely brilliant. And uh, yeah, that makes a huge, huge difference. So if I was you uh, and you're wondering about, you know, overlays or anything like that that you would like to use, I would highly, highly recommend uh, giving iOverlay a go. Now, it is currently free, but what I will say is I don't think it will be free forever. So get your hands on it whilst you can. And if you are feeling generous and you are feeling kind, considering this software is free, uh, there is an option uh, called Buy Me a Coffee, where you can uh, give the developer, um, basically, you can donate a five or ten pounds or however much you want just to say thank you. Uh, and quickly, before I end this video as well, uh, they do have a Discord. Uh, they do have a Discord indeed that you can join. And in that Discord, uh, they have suggestions. So you can suggest your ideas for what you'd like the software to add. Um, so you can add suggestions like uh, maybe add like a, a 
meatball flag or a yellow flag next to a car that has an incident or anything like that. And uh, yeah, that can get upvotes and then developers can have a look at it and decide whether they can add that feature or not. But I thought I'd just make a quick video on this software because I get asked about it so often and so much. So yeah, I really highly recommend that if you are looking for something that's free, looks really nice, super clean, lots of uh, customization, download iOverlay and give it a try. But anyways, that's enough from me. <laughs> Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Make sure you leave a like and uh, maybe potentially subscribe on the way out. And I'll catch you for the next one, boys and girls. Take care. Ta-da.